Welcome back to the vlog, you guys. We are in North Carolina. This is our Airbnb right now. This is our second day here. Yesterday and the day before, it was super rainy and gloomy and really you couldn't see much. So today's our first day of like really getting to enjoy being outside because the weather is so nice. We thought it was gonna be a lot colder than it is and it's probably in the 60s, which is so nice, but we brought like winter clothes, but it's okay, it's fine. We're about to head over to Lauren's fiance's house to eat breakfast. My parents are staying over there with them and then we are staying at the Airbnb here. Me, Mohammed, Naeem, Lena, Omar, and Elena. This is the outside of our Airbnb. It's honestly very cozy and like a really good location and there's a lot of room here. The leaves have fallen so we are definitely not a uh, peak foliage for fall but it is just absolutely beautiful here like the mountains the trees i can't wait to see more today now that it's not so foggy out Get on a boat? Gonna go get on a boat? That was, uh, Wait, that was what really the dog? About, no, that was you. You didn't burp? I didn't burp. That was that was you. No, the, <laughs> the, line, that was the you. dog burped. The dog swear. Burped? Does he burp? Yeah, he burped. That was swear. Him. I thought that was Omar. That was a belter. <laughs> he burped like a human. We just got to Austin. We just checked in. We're at the Miraval Resort and Spa. And Lena stayed here one time, I think, her and Omar when they first got married. And ever since then, we've always wanted to come because it's so beautiful. And it's like in the hills of Austin. It's so pretty. So I just want to give you guys a little room tour. It's like a wellness spa. So let me show you. All right, when you first walk in, these are the beds. I've got a little... TV mini fridge over here, but the best part of the room is this view. It's absolutely gorgeous. So it's a little sunny, so I hope you can see. But it's so pretty. There is a pool over here, and they're like all individual buildings um with rooms so i think they're all like over here there's we are in building four so right now we are starving we haven't eaten anything all day so we're gonna run and go get a little snack from this little place the, their lunch is over but we're just gonna grab a snack the lighting in here is very nice and then we are doing a little tour of the property at 4.30, so I'll show you guys that a little bit. And then we're doing a cooking class tonight, so we've got a little itinerary for today and then tomorrow. Last night we just checked in and had which way are we going? That way. We had a little cooking. It wasn't a cooking class. The sh it was a chef who cooked for us, and then we just ate. But now we're headed to breakfast, and today is kind of like our full day. We're gonna drive the cars. We're going on a hike, but it's so cold, and I really didn't like think about this or bring enough layers for this. So we'll see how this goes. much later we're about to head to dinner i'm really sorry that i have not vlogged that much i've been needing to get like content on my phone so the vlog is just not a priority for this trip but we're gonna pick up um 
tomorrow when I get back to San Antonio, but we're about to head to dinner. This is my outfit. I'm wearing this navy blue sweater dress with this cardigan and these boots. And they give you water bottles here because there are like filters everywhere so you can fill them up and it's so nice. We went to the spa earlier. I did a facial, my mom did a massage and then we sat in the steam shower and now we're headed to, oops, we're headed to dinner and the food here is so, so good. It's like very organic. They have a lot of like vegan gluten-free options. So it's like right up our alley. And um, I think I mentioned that it's like an all-inclusive place and there's uh, the breakfast was so so good and they have like a grab and go station um that's separate from the restaurants if the restaurant isn't open and then you can get like coffees and they have like every syrup and milk you can think of but we're running late for dinner so i'll see you guys there i'll try to get a little clip of dinner <laughs> okay thank you they are busy today because it's cold and everybody wants a hot drink. Hi, can I please do a hot almond milk matcha latte? Say a hot almond milk latte? A uh, matcha latte. Uh, it's, I'm going to do a hot almond milk matcha latte. A hot almond milk matcha latte. Yes. Perfect. All right. And, and what size? I'll just do a 12-ounce. And can I get it with honey and cinnamon? Uh, do you want it a 12-ounce and what else? Honey, and, honey and cinnamon, yes. Honey and cinnamon. Gotcha. All right. So a hot 12-ounce oat matcha latte with honey and cinnamon. Yes, that's gotcha. right. Anything else for you? That's it. Perfect. We'll have you fill out the window. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Do you have a three-quarter winter? I had the matcha latte. Matcha latte. Yes. Right. Uh, it was an oat matcha, correct? It was an almond. Almond. I okay. think it was hard to hear me. I don't know why. <laughs> no worries. We can go ahead and make that for you. Okay, thank you. There thank you, you so much. Oh, have a good day. You too. You. Today I'm prepping for Friendsgiving. That is tomorrow. So to catch you guys up to speed, we went to North Carolina. I tried my best to vlog North Carolina as much as I could. Then the next, we came home Sunday. I took a shower, washed my clothes, repacked, and left Monday for Austin with Lexus. I was there until Wednesday, so today is Friday. And so I'm just like, last night was the first night that I actually got a really good night's sleep and I woke up feeling rested. I needed that so bad. I'm at Costco now, I'm gonna run in and get stuff for the charcuterie board i just have like a list on my phone of last minute things we need for the friendsgiving we're doing like a potluck friendsgiving so mohammed and i are doing the turkey and the charcuterie board the drinks and then everybody else is bringing something we have like 26 people coming and this is my first time like hosting anything but especially at our house so i'm kind of nervous i just want everything to like look good for everyone and i just wanted to be a lot of fun inshallah it will be but it's just crazy because like i wish my sisters were coming i wish someone from my family was going to be there but lena's in la she gets back today or tomorrow lauren's in north carolina and it was just way too much to ask them to come it would just be way too hard on them and everyone's so busy right now so we have a lot of our friends from college coming and um i'm so excited but yeah i'm gonna run in get some stuff for the charcuterie board and i'll just take y'all with me as i prep i've got so many errands to run today so i'm gonna be out for a while okay i just got home and i meant to vlog while i was shopping but costco and everywhere i went was so freaking packed so we didn't film Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I got. So, we'll just do an unboxing of everything. And I got sugar for tea, sugar and mint. I got this little, we don't have like a little sugar container. So, I got this for sugar. And um, you're on it as a tripod. But my sister Lana Dean is letting us borrow this tea pump she has. And I got candles because it's... Um, one of our friends that's coming to stay with us. It's her birthday tomorrow, so we got her like a cake from H-E-B. So for the charcuterie board, 
I'm also showing Mohammed because he hasn't seen any of this. But I got like a bunch of different types of crackers. So I got these pita crackers. These are so good. This is the last box of them from Trader Joe's. And then I got this trio of crackers. But I already opened one in the car because I was so hungry. So we have two we can like refill throughout the night. Also for the charcuterie board, I got some olives, green olives and black olives, or call them out olives. These are with jalapenos and peri-peri peppers. Then I got these tiny pickles and this balsamic glaze because I got some mozzarella balls and little these tomatoes and we can put um, balsamic glaze over it and then I got two of these sparkling lemonades there's only eight in here but we have like other sodas too then I got this I got so for the charcuterie board we're gonna do like cheeses crackers fruit and then we've got I just got two dips so I got a red pepper hummus and this tzatziki Oh, this is the mozzarella. Um, this is a cucumber tzatziki dip, and I got these yummy little pita like breads for the dips. You think that's okay? Mm -hmm. And I got some grapes. I got green and red grapes. Grapes. And then I got cheese and cheese oops not focusing cheese so i got a brie cheese then i got all of these cheeses <laughs> and then we have the mozzarella cheese so we have five cheeses then for fruit i got Blueberries, raspberries. I tried to get fruits that wouldn't like go bad on the board. And then I'm gonna do these little mini cucumbers and peppers for the board. And I'll cut these up um, for the dips. And then let me put some of this up. Last thing I got for the table. So I wanted to get, if you guys saw, I went to Hobby Lobby and I got these pumpkins and they were like so cheap. I'm gonna return them. They were basically styrofoam and they just looked really stark like over there. It didn't look good. So I got some from HEB. I wanted to get real pumpkins, but they're not selling real pumpkins anymore because they like have all their Christmas stuff out. So I got some white ones and I got these really pretty, these small ones. And I'm mainly gonna decorate our dining table. And then I have two more tables that I'm just putting like a tablecloth and a runner on. So let me show you guys. I got this burnt orange runner, these gold candle holders, and then these like terracotta candles. And they look so good. I'm just like, I was playing around with this, trying to see how I was gonna style this. And then these are two tables. They're six foot tables with some chairs. And we're just gonna move these couches and put them here. I put this together and I think it looks really good. But the problem is we're gonna have two more tables. I'm trying to decide if I should put, just decorate this table and then have nothing on the other tables or if I should do all the tables with something. Yeah. I like that. Let me make sure I have enough candles though. Two, three, four, 
Do three. No, I only have eight candles. Just one table would have two instead of three, which that's fine. is fine. But do you think that looks good? Yeah, yeah that looks really good. Eight candles, that's a good looks so good. Do you think I should do it like one big one? I think you should do all, all three tables. I think so too. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, maybe. Yo. Okay, from where? Okay, this is what we decided to do. Three small arrangements so every table has something. I took a picture so I can remember what it looks like. And I'm gonna redo it tomorrow because I'm filming like a real or TikTok for it, so we'll do that. prepped all the fruits and veggies this morning and just put them in the fridge so that I could wash them and they wouldn't be like super wet when I put them on the charcuterie board. We have some friends in town and mama just took them to eat a bite so that I could finish getting everything set up. They helped put these tables out and we moved the couches here. We've got the Netflix, uh, actually this is on YouTube, just some fire crackling for the vibes. And I'm gonna put the tablecloths on here, steam them, set all that up. I'm gonna walk you guys through like where everything's gonna, oops, where everything's gonna go. So on the island, I'm gonna do charcuterie board here. Then we'll have plates and um, utensils and stuff. And then we're gonna do all the food here on the island. Everybody's bringing something. Then we're gonna move all of this into the pantry so we can do tea cups sugar, mint, and then um, desserts here. forgot to add the eucalyptus to every single table so I'm gonna do that really fast the tables look so good I'm so happy with them I can't believe I forgot the eucalyptus <laughs> I asked Muhammad to stop at Bath and Body Works for me to get the marshmallow fireside candle so I could burn it we've got this little Netflix not Netflix why do I keep saying that YouTube fire going I've got my Amazon Echo I'm gonna play Thanksgiving jazz music 
and our friends are almost here so i am going to catch up with you guys later i'm i ran through the shower even though i put my same sweatshirt back on but i'm gonna hang out with them for a bit and i'll catch up with you guys a little bit later it might be a little crazy so i tried to vlog as much as i could now but um yeah i'll catch up with you guys once we've got some more stuff going on okay but i'm gonna put the paper down first okay so how do so, you make them you, you start with wait do you start with a wooden pin or are you doing so I'm just doing butcher paper. So, and then I have some little bowls and stuff I'm gonna put on top. Mm -hmm. And I just tape down the butcher paper. So I'm gonna do that some tape. Is the needle? Yeah, <laughs> they can just throw it away. Yeah. are done we just lit the candles they look so good we didn't light the top ones just in case they like wobble and fall over but i feel like they like definitely make it like set the mood and, sing sing. and these are my friends <laughs> and ikram and i and everybody once they got here did the charcuterie and it looks so good i think we did a good job just waiting for everyone to get here and set up the food. Mm -hmm. 